Aquarius, welcome to your timeless reading. This is more about someone you're in the process of letting go or things are stagnant or you're simply just wanting clarity. So you do have the Spirit of Wa Spirit of Cups coming in. We also have the Six of Cups. That's so like somebody from the past may be coming back because they're showing up here. Somebody's showing up. So like a past lover. Okay. Hey, we have the, the Donna Cups. Okay, so it's like somebody's thinking about something. The Two of Wands is filling at a crossroads. But I see that everything is in reverse. So there's really like very big, like stagnant energy here. Huh, looks like you're curious. This person's, okay, so you may be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, a lot of water here, but it's hard to find clarity within the situation. It's like, where's the truth, right? Is somebody hiding the truth? Like where, <laughs> what is going on? Needing more clarity here. In the past, we have the Six of Swords. In this person's mind, they have the Ace of Wands. But we're going to clarify to get more in depth on what this person is thinking. We also have this full energy, which is all about new beginnings. Okay, could represent other things, but again, we're going to go ahead and see. Okay, so it does show that somebody is coming in regardless with that Nine of Cups energy. And then we do have this King of Cups, Page of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. So something here is definitely stuck. There is like something hap like something slowing down for sure. But this Knight of Cups is coming in. And then we have the Hierophant, which is all about your beliefs. It's about commitment, marriage, um, spirituality. And this is about being on the right path. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we have the Page of, of Swords. There's a lot of conflict when it comes to the past. This could be a past lover or family dynamic too. When we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, this is feeling unsatisfied, feeling that things are unstable, things are stagnant. There could be, you know, some conflict between money or family or relationships, of course, but it's just showing a lot of past is coming in, okay? Like somebody's very stuck in this past energy it's like hard to move on what is this king of cups unfortunately from what i'm seeing here is that somebody here may be leaving other energies to come back to you they may be going in and out but this is a player like energy with the knight of wands there does it does show that they have a lack of coming through they seem a bit flaky i'm um, could be over partying or something is just really hard for them to be um, grounded. It seems very flighty energy. And the three of cups in the reverse can have other energies involved or interference. I feel like it's there's a lot of unfinished business with this person, with the King of Wands. Now we're having fire come in. Um, it feels like they, like it's like kind of hard to see if they closed out this chapter or not because I do see the Knight of Wands upright and it looks like it's coming towards you. But it's like there's an energy of them ha having or feeling unfulfilled but not really knowing what they want. It's like they want to be a leader, but they're coming up as a weak leader. They're wanting to um, be bold and brave, but they're coming up full of fear. So I see this person not even knowing what to do. Like, I feel like they're just kind of acting out. Um, there may be, we have infidelity. Uh, I don't know, you guys. This is this person just coming up as a player and a manipulator, emotionally even abusive for some, or just very cold, moody, switches their moods a lot, and it's because they're they're doing something I don't know, and a lack. 
there's like a sense of this person taking a break by it's like they're being free but like too free i would be careful getting involved with anybody that you may see that may be a player like energy because knights kind of like they kind of sleep around you know what i mean like when, especially when they're in the reverse or in the challenge or anything like that, like or there's like this three of cups, like there could be other energies around. But you would know, okay, even though like you would have a feeling, um, but this person's be coming off very withdrawn. Uh, see, they're coming back. I don't see this person really going too far to be honest with you Aquarius I do see this person driven by passion like one night stand energy and they're being like very op optimistic fearless so I don't know if there's like influence involved like drinking or <laughs> something else but it just feels like very impulsive energy And then we have death. Like, is this person okay? They have a hard time working with others. They have a hard time collaborating and being a team player. This person is not. I don't know. I feel like this person just feels you letting them go and now they, they're thinking about coming in because they know it's ending. But at the same time, it's like there's so much conflict with, within their energy too. Like they, they kind of screw over people. I feel that you're standing your ground and setting boundaries towards this person because you're recovering you are finally feeling good like you're looking at this as like you're needing to protect yourself from this person okay so that's what i'm seeing because you're this is a challenge so it's like you are protecting yourself um you're standing up bravely towards this energy as you are recovering so it does look like a knight of cups is coming in but you don't really trust this knight of cups on what it says because it could be very charming um or someone that like says all of these things just to try to get into your life again but you you are saying you are feeling like you need to defend yourself from this person in the near future so mm -hmm. and this is this is showing like this is um a temporary feeling down like of, of a feeling of uh, feeling down um, feeling sad feeling like very unhappy and but spirit is saying it's it's temporary you're on the right track here okay but there may be some self-doubt here just because of what this person has did it can really affect our self-worth our self-esteem but again this is you gaining back and rising above this okay and getting back up and believing yourself again and getting your self-worth back because it does show like you are you are recovering from the situation now there it, it seems like all this stems from a message you may have a new interest wow you guys have may have already moved on possibly from this person okay because it is showing like the overall energy of the reading is like i feel like you're holding you're valuing what you want you're not wanting anybody to mess up what you have or to interfere with your life and your desires and your wants like you're not wanting distractions it's like you're going towards like you're going towards your goals and you know what you want and you're holding on to that. You're very protective of yourself because you're thinking long term, not short term. This could be you focusing on saving money and getting back on track and worrying about your happiness and your life, right? 
that you're not settling for less. Just not settling for less here. So let's see what this person has to say. It does look like, ooh, I promise you ring. Could have been an engagement or a marriage here too. Regrets. This person regrets it. I should have, could have, would have. Maybe this is a an ex. I abandon people to make myself feel better. Destiny is taking this down different paths. Can we start over? You're always on my mind. Jealousy and possessive fight and arguments. Finances are a problem. Feels like there's so much that comes with this person right now. It's very difficult. Let's see what the romantic oracles have to say. Wedding. You guys could have been married to this situation to this person. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. There's something that has to do with a wedding or in some way. Like a soulmate connection. You guys could be going towards a new love. A new person has stirred up your feelings. I feel like that's what I'm saying too with that Ten of Cups. This could be a new person. And you're like, some of you guys are just like, don't come in my life. Because <laughs> something else is coming in for you guys. Whatever this is, there's a soulmate that looks like it's coming in. There is something that's involving marriage and it has to do with a new love too. So that's what the these oracles are stating, okay? Very interesting. I like this. I love how these beautiful cards came out for you. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this here for you, Aquarius. This is a very interesting reading. I feel like for some of you guys have already moved on. Others of you, you're protecting your happiness. You're not settling. Um, but there is somebody here that wants to come back because they feel like it's ended. Somebody wants to start over, but I feel like you're just in defense right now because you're recovering and you're seeing the light and things are getting better and you're on the right track. And I don't feel like you want anybody to mess this up for you. So Aquarius, big hugs to you. I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. I hope this message helped and brought clarity. And if it did in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.